in to go against your master. Look, Leon is like, I'm just gonna jump right in it. Y'all can tell right me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, right. So that that's another thing that kind of makes people feel a certain way about mm-hmm. religion sometimes, especially with our, with, you know, with our with our people, because you know it, it was used as a means of control. Slaves well, obey your master, and you know mm-hmm. stuff like like that. Um. I'm going to be real with you. I said this to the group before. Religion was created for someone's ego, for them to have power. Religion has nothing to do with God at all. Religion is man-made so that people can control. That's it. You don't need a building to find God. God don't knock on the door of the church. He knocks on the doors of your soul. That's where that goes. So religion, I feel, is man-made, and and that's where I'm at with that. So. Okay. What's, your, what's your thoughts, Marley? Um, so yeah, like it it is a tool. It's a tool of, of control. Um, I feel like 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 you said, it, it it keeps you in a box. You know, you can only think, but so far, follow these guidelines, go by these rules, don't question anything that's going on, and you'll be you'll you'll make it to heaven. So no matter how bad it is, just just listen and be good. You know what I mean? And and you'll be promised this, you know, the land of milk and honey. And and, and you know, you know, just live. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, it's it's definitely uh it holds people back from really thinking. Yeah. Thinking for themselves, being their own person. All right, all right. So we got our other guest in the house today. We got my man Robin. All right. All right, so Robin. Hey, Robin. Robin. Now you right hey. on time because we 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 just kind of dive right in, bro. So you know, I don't know What's if you've heard so far. Okay. But um, so you know, we were talking about religion and it being used to control black people. They somebody somebody in the comments jumped in and said it was used to control black people, and um, you know, and it's used to as control and nothing to do with God. Now I know you are a faithful man. So what are your thoughts on that, brother? All right, so there is truth in that, right? So it's not, there's no uh, falseness inside of the theory that Christianity was used in a sense to control black people. Well, the only thing about it is too, though, is that Christianity has a lot of like different doctrinations or denominations of Christianity. And so a lot of those it was like the Methodist church and I think the Calvinism church. It's a lot of different churches that were being formed in the early 1700s, early 1600s, 1800s. You got to remember, you got to remember that the Quakers were also called Christians, but they believed in a totally different type of Christianity. Some of them served Mary like Catholics. Some of them think that Adam was. So when you got to, you, you put it into perspective, it's not, I wouldn't even really call it Christianity. I would call it whatever denomination that they are, like Seven Day Adventist or even Mormonism. You know, they have their own mentality. And so to wrap it all into Christianity would be really ignorant in a sense, in my opinion, because it's not going based off of what the Bible is. Because true non-denominational Christianity is going based off the life and the uh, principles of Jesus Christ. You know, not even... Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. So so you're saying... It, it inside of Christianity, there's different sets, you know. In, yeah. in and so, so do you not consider? So you not consider them Christians, um, like the Quakers and the Calvinists. No, that's that's Christians. not what I'm saying. So yeah, that's what I'm going to clarify. According, to, make sure we according to Jesus, the only way you become a Christian is if you accept Him as Lord and Savior and you acknowledge sin. According to Romans three twenty three, uh, it says that we have all fall short and come close to the. Clo- I mean, come. Sorry, y'all. We've all you know, you're going. Yep. come under the glory of God. And so in order to get into first John, first John 1, 9, the salvation, we have to confess our sins and then we'll be forgiven of our sins. And God will cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Now, God is a forgiving God, but God is not mocked. And so what happens is, is that because we have a lot of thinkers and sometimes the Bible, that's why I say the Bible says the smarter you are, the harder it is to get into the kingdom of heaven, because we got a lot of thinkers. And what happened is man may disagree with God. And so when man disagrees with God, they want to have a big following. So they change, you know, doctrine, create false doctrines of what God said, what God may say, and they feed it to people. So that's what was happening to the blacks in the early, you know, 
slavery times, especially since they weren't allowed to read and find out for themselves. If you remember, it wasn't just black people. In the early English church, the king of England controlled the Bible and he didn't allow people to read people, you know, read the Bible and et cetera. So it wasn't just done to black people. It was done to white people. It was done to the Italians. In fact, in China right now, you can't even get a Bible. So, you know, it's wherever the doctrine is controlled with a government. So instead of it being like, that's why I said to say it was just Christianity would be ignorant in, in my point of view. So yeah. I have a question. Do you have a relationship with religion or do you have a relationship with God? Because you're quoting well, yeah, according to Christianity. Wait, wait. Oh, go ahead. You have a lot of things that you're quoting, mm -hmm. right? About you. So you, are you saying that a man that can't read will never be able to enter the gates of no, no. Okay. No. So if he doesn't know any of the word that has been much whitewashed down to us because there's proof that the things that are in the Bible were in the pyramids in Africa. So my question to you is, where is that division? Because you're quoting a lot of stuff, which in actuality is things that have been handed down to you, right? So what about your actual well, relationship with God? No, no, no. I wouldn't, say it was, I wouldn't say it was handed down to me. You know, hey, hey, got, hey, hold, hold on one second. Jacob, the link is in the comment section. So I'll click on the link. You should be able to hop in. You know, I, I, I keep. Are your you know, parents Christian? Yeah, I keep. And then I keep they handed my, you. I keep my word you. right here, you exactly. know, right beside me. You know, it's I, got I, my name on it and everything. You. you know, that's handed so down it's, to you. It's, 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 no, nah, no. Nah, I actually got this out of my graduation class for being like top in biblical. Yeah. You know, I've studied it, you know, and I wouldn't say, see, because here's the thing mm -hmm. there's a lot of people, and, you know, and that's why I say Christianity has, that's why I say you have to be careful. And even with leaders, because there's a lot of people who have sons and, you know, grandsons, et cetera, and their dad was a pastor, et cetera, and they don't go the same way as their father. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so you have to develop your own relationship, regardless of what you know growing up, regardless of what you've done individually, whether it be good or bad. Some people get saved after doing murder in the jail, you know, so it, it doesn't. And that's what makes God, to me anyway, so unique. You know, is that whatever, no matter what your background is, no matter what you've done, no matter where you're going in life, you could be the richest, you could be the poorest. He says that you're not complete without him. You know, I agree. And but so a lot that, of things you're saying to me is quoting religion. And, I, and the reason why I say that is I don't think some of our, some of us realize that you create more lost sheep with religion than to than if you were to speak of your actual relationship with God. So can you I ask you a question? Go ahead. Yeah. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, Pearl. Go ahead. Um, so are you saying, in your perspective, mm -hmm. that um. Because he's quoting from the Bible, okay? He's mm -hmm. he's coming from the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, are you saying that the Bible itself, or or God's word? I'm gonna use that, but are you saying that the Bible has nothing to do with re religion? Is separate from the Bible? Because because what I'm saying is, he's quoting from the Bible that he, we've he, proven he, is not all 100 percent correct, right? Uh huh. But he's no. not he's not getting into the whole aspect or of the religion piece of it. He's sharing with you and correct me if I'm wrong, Rob. I just want to make sure like mm -hmm. I think we're on the same page right now okay. um, that him him sharing quotes from the Bible is separate. It, he's sharing information It's separate from his his re, the religion itself, because there are different factions or yeah, the yeah. denominations of religion exactly. and depending on and depending on what um what denomination you 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 elect to to follow there are which he just mentioned there are several different forms of the bible so for the sake of conversation he could be following the king james but then we got the 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 um living living word you got um yeah, oh come on with all types of trans. Yeah, all types of translation. What I'm, that's what right. I'm saying okay, so, to you, right? And and what and this is why I'm trying to answer. Like, like you said, I'm quoting scripture, right? right so right. according to my denomination, which is non-denominational, 
Okay, right? got it. I our relationship, our re our relationship with God mm -hmm. isn't even religion. It's a pure relationship. And so we don't even classify ourselves with religion. We're classified as more like one with being the child of God and accepting I mean, that we are just like you. I understand. Yeah. And so when I'm quoting scripture, according to my, according to where I've or who taught me, because every church is different, right. you know, and depending on who your shepherd is, is depending on how you're going to, you know, be interpreted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to interpret the word of God? And according to my shepherd and according to, to what I believe, you know, because you can't believe in what you know. I know my mom and dad, so I don't believe Absolutely. my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So I, and according to what I believe, you know, to develop a relationship, God is to know his word, is to seek after his word, is to educate yourself on his word. Because if you know his word, then you know his behavior, you know his character, you know his ethics, you know his laws, you know his financial beliefs, and you also know his uh, healthy eating choices. You know, because there's recipes in the Bible. The Bible isn't just a religious book. That's why I don't like to call it religion, because mm -hmm. there are certain churches that they actually don't even teach the Bible. You know, they what, teach what are those? commentary. Yeah, that's what's like. <laughs> what, what, so, what church doesn't teach the Bible? What, what church is that? I, that's interesting to me. The Mormons. Oh, the Mormons. So, the Mormons, so, they don't, so what do the Mormons consider? Because they, they got a whole... Well, they're just a it, exact. They're just another denomination because they technically believe in God. 